Good morning. Welcome once again to my home here in Boloris on the island of Anglesey. How's Lent going? On Ash Wednesday, Lent seemed to stretch ahead of me. But here we are, a few days from Passion Sunday and Holy Week. All those plans to read more, to do more, to give more of myself, maybe to eat less. Well, I've tried. This Lent has also brought us the horrors of war and yet more cases of Covid. Both have seen an outpouring of generosity from people towards their friends, their neighbours and to people they don't know. And we thank God for that. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of all peoples and nations, who created all things, alive and breathing, united and whole. Show us the way of peace that is your overwhelming presence. We hold before you the peoples of Ukraine, Russia and every land where war rages. Bring your loving care to every child and every adult. We long for a time when weapons of war are beaten to plowshares, when nations no longer lift up sword against nation. We cry out to you for peace. Protect those whose only desire and desire to live in security and safety. Comfort those who fear for their lives and the lives of their loved ones. Be with those who are bereaved. Change the hearts of those set on violence and aggression and fill leaders with the wisdom that leads to peace. Kindle again the love of our neighbour and a passion for justice to prevail and a renewed recognition that we all play a part in peace. Creator of all, hear our prayer and bring us peace. Make us all whole. Amen. Today's Gospel reading, like all the readings of this week, show us when Jesus is being tested and questions asked. They're trying to get evidence to arrest him. Today's reading follows on from the first reading, which is a part of Genesis, where Abraham makes his covenant with God. We read from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, Now we know for certain that you are possessed. Abraham is dead, and the prophets are dead. And yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham? 
who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Who are you claiming to be? Jesus answered, If I were to seek my own glory, that would be no glory at all. My glory is conferred by the Father, by the one who says he is our God. Although you do not know him, but I know him. And if I were to say I do not know him, I should be a liar, as you are liars yourselves. But I do know him, and I faithfully keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to think that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. The Jews then said, You are not fifty yet and you have seen Abraham. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. At this, they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and left the temple. Jesus is persecuted for telling the truth. He tries to explain that he was sent by God that he knows God and anyone who believes in him will not die. But the people don't want to hear anymore. Now we know for certain that you are possessed, they say. And angrily they, they throw stones to chase him away. <clears throat> These words of Jesus reach back not only to an age of the great patriarch Abraham, but even behind that, to the first day in Israel's history, to the eternal day before creation. Before Abraham came, I am. In this message, Jesus is more than the fulfilment of Abraham's faith and hope. Jesus was one with God who planned for the day of Abraham before the universe was even created, directed world history so that Abraham would be the single hope of all people, led Israel's history forward till this eternal world became incarnate in Jesus. Jesus is the great I am. Jesus is the Lord of our history. His hopes and plans at least are partially unfulfilled until all of us men and women are one. It takes great courage to speak the truth when all around there is fear and hatred. We pray for all those who are persecuted because of the truth of their situation. We pray. God of courage, strengthen us so that we may speak your truth of love for all people. May we work together so that those who are most vulnerable and rejected may have a hope for a better future. We pray for everyone who is sick or afraid, bereaved or isolated around the world and we pray for all those who are supporting them. May God grant each of them peace and comfort, courage,
courage and perseverance. We leave all our prayers in the hands of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May the Lord grant us all a blessed day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with us today as we join everyone in the home.